got a guy like that, a guy like that, a six four, and you got a chance to like that. What's going on? Welcome back, everybody. We received some good news today. The uh, the holdout with Zach Martin seems to officially be over. Jerry did not stick to his guns. Uh, we all knew that this deal would work out with Zach Martin. He gets an extension of two years worth $36 million-ish. Um, that's an $8.5 million raise, and that puts him right up top with the other guards like he wanted to be, man. This was an important step headed into this season. Um, talk to me a bit about how you're feeling. Yeah, he deserved it, man. I mean, we all we all know Zach is the dude. He's he's the leader um, on offense and all. But you know, what I mean, outside of Dak, that's our captain, man. You know, what I mean, it's a guy. So I think the the Cowboy community, everybody in general, I think we all happy to get Zach back. We've seen how shaky it was against the offensive line. I mean, you know, what I mean, amongst the offensive line and even throughout practices and you watch the game. I don't think you know, what I mean, the offensive line for for the most part was a strong suit once you looked at our depth. And, I mean, it's crazy because I don't, I don't think a lot of teams have good offensive line depth around the NFL, period. But, uh, you know what I mean, you got to have a guy like that to get the looks you need. I don't think our guards and, you know what I mean, the backups that we have is enough. We still may got to go out and get a guy. But if we're just talking about Zach in general, hey, we may have folded. You know what I mean? Yeah. It, seem, it just seems like that's the Cowboys thing, man. You, you say something, you put it out there, and after a while, Jerry Caves. I don't think, for the most part, Anybody hasn't got that done except for maybe a Randy Gregory, and, and just maybe he probably would have got that deal done if he had just kind of, you know, I mean, signed a contract when it was done. Weren't we like this close with Randy though? Yeah. So yeah. I mean, he almost got what he wanted too. So that's, that's yeah. a bullet there though. Yeah. Album. Jerry's like that uh that parent where they say no a bunch of times, but you do end up going to Chuck E. Cheese after all. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm glad <laughs> though, man. No, nah, man, it, it's good to have Zach back. Um, in other news, we did just receive word that uh. Zeke has officially signed with the New England Patriots. I think you said it's a one-year, six-mil deal. And that kind of hurts. That kind of hurts, man. Uh, we all kind of were like, ah, F Zeke, we're over it. But I think in the back of our minds, we all were kind of like, come on, let's get Zeke back in here. Yeah, we all love Zeke. And it's like, you kind of knew he was gone, but it was still that possibility that, hey, look, maybe, just maybe he might return. Um, for a lot of people, the ship is sailed. And, I mean, officially, it has uh, sailed, man. So, uh, you know, we got to kind of deal. We got a house, and uh, we've seen some good things this weekend. Deuce Vaughn, look, he showed up. Uh, mm -hmm. we, we like what we've seen from Deuce. They use him in a variety of ways. I thought that was good to see, man. Hopefully he builds on that. I, th I think he will. I ain't even going to say hopefully. I think, he, you know what I mean, he's going to be a player. Uh, Rico Dottle showed up. You know yeah. what I mean? He, he looked explosive right away. He had some juice to him. Um, obviously, he had the fumble that took away a great play. But uh, nonetheless, you know what I mean, he looked good. I think Malik Davis, um, I don't think he did anything to – kind of secure that number two spot. So I think he kind of lost the lead there. And maybe him and Deuce for the number three spot may be a battle. I'm not even saying Rico going to get the two, but uh, I think those two showed a little bit more this weekend. So the running back room still got some questions. Yeah, absolutely. I, I think this coaching staff uh, secretly hates Malik Davis too, bro. You know, the reports came out that he wasn't really practicing. But I get it from his point of view, man. He knows he's better than what Zeke was doing, and he couldn't get the playing time. So did he throw a fit last season? A little bit. But – Nah, man, Deuce. I, w I had a lot of questions about Deuce, bro. Like those uh, training camp runs, I'm like, okay, that's cool. But when yeah. you're that small and not getting tackled, let's see what it looks like when the pads come on for real. And he balled out. Yeah. So that, that's exciting, man. Uh, and he showed he could catch the ball at the backfield right away. Right. Um, you know what I mean? They look for him, look for him often. Um, he looked like – obviously, we knew he would be a mismatch against linebackers. So, I mean, it was tight to see them go out there and actually do that, like try to see him in those type of situations. And then, you know, in between the tackles, like, you know, I mean, he was making guys miss, but it wasn't like he was just on the outside just making it happen. He was kind of in between the tackles, making guys miss. And uh, that's a that's a skill set that don't everybody have. You know what I mean? So, sure. Deuce, hey, keep it going. Rico, up. Malik, we got to see something from you, bro. Um, Hunter Lubick, he came in at the end. He had, a you know, a solid run, a couple of solid runs, whatever. Um, he's still going to show a little bit more. I think maybe as we get to the next preseason games, um, he'll get a little bit more opportunity as we as we get deeper into this thing. But um, outside of that, man, um, the wide receiver room, man, it was good to see Tobert show out. You know what I yeah. mean? Tobert, he came out and everything that we've been seeing all preseason, well, yeah, preseason, offseason long, man, he showed up. The, the route running is crisp. Um, and he showed he could be a guy that, that that can rely on, man. Um, So keep it up, Tobert. Uh, Jalen Brooks, for some reason, he, he didn't show up. It wasn't a, you know what I mean, a, a connection there with Greer like we thought it would be. 
um, he'll have to build on it. But like we always said, man, when the lights come on, um, who can show up? You know what I mean? If some of these guys look good in practice, they don't show up in the games. And some of these guys that do look good in practice, you know I me mean? Vice versa. Right. No, I think this definitely puts Simi on the outside looking in as we head into preseason week two. Um, will he end up on the practice squad? More than likely. Um, Jake Ferguson, man. Jake Ferguson is balling out, man. Uh, you know, he has that Kelsey stamp of approval, and he just – bro, he flashes when he's out there. Yeah. And that's what I like about it. Like, like we all we all talked about Jeremy Stevens Jr. Um, and would he show up? You know what I mean? He showed up, but he did it against third team. And nothing – take nothing away from that. You know what I mean? Uh, the thing is, you know what I'm saying? If you're out there, make your plays. I don't care who you do it against. But Jake, being that he was going against their first team and he made the plays he played, look, I seen what I need to see from him, man. Uh, that's that's tight end one. I don't see nobody taking that from him this year. You know what I mean? He, he's that dude. Stamp. Absolutely. And then – Defensively, man, Demario Overshone, like that looks promising as well. Talk to me a bit about yeah, how you feel about like this linebacker. Overshone is, it's crazy, man. I don't know how Dan Quinn keep finding these guys, man. Uh, you know, when you think about him and you see him, he's a linebacker, right? But he's a he, he's like another Dino, man. He's a he's sick and missile. He was out there playing with some pop. I'm talking about hitting guys. It looked very impactful. Um, and he looked like the the lights wasn't too much for him. He came out there right away and uh, just showed he was ready for the game. You know what I mean? So he's gonna be a player. I said it before, like, I was like, he may just see the field a lot sooner than expected. I don't know what type of lead Jabril Cox got on him right now, but he's a guy I want to see play. I want to see him grow. And I think he's a player that, you know, you know, you got certain guys, that, you know, if you're watching, uh, maybe you learn that way. But I think if he could actually play, I think the learning curve for him would just, it, it'll get cut short so fast that he could be a player for us sooner than expected. But no, and that's absolutely exciting. I did want to ask you though, man. Kelvin looked all right out there. Is he out there hustling us, or what's going on with Kelvin Joseph? <laughs> like we just talked about, right? He's a player like they showed all his lows, you know what I mean? And in, in the training camp, you know what I mean? We see them get kicked up by CD, Brandon Cooks. But actually, like when you, when you kind of settled down and looked at it, he looked okay out there. Um, you know what I mean? And honestly, we thought he was behind in this thing, but if he can keep stacking it, stack a couple games up together, look, we might just be having a conversation. He may not be out of the mix yet you know what i mean and nation we didn't really see too much from him you know what i mean so it may be a, a closer battle than we think but kelvin joseph is still in the mix crazy to say that that's crazy and and super exciting too man uh the battle in the third fourth spot on this depth chart right now all over man outside of maybe the offensive line is getting exciting because there's a lot of holes that we have to fill with the guys on our team if that makes sense yeah, and and for real, like our second team defense played uh, well against their first team offense. They didn't really get anything going. It took Avante Turpin from with that, that ball, and then obviously they got a touchdown there. But outside of that, Trevor Lawrence, look, he, he had a, a time moving the ball against those guys, man. But I think, you know what I mean, it was good seeing, like, playing, um, you know what I mean, really got the better of him on a couple, a couple of those uh, passes. But just him getting the reps on the outside against him and, and whatnot, those guys look good. Wanya Thomas, he came in, got another interception, so, hey, those guys are stacking on that side. I think defensively, uh, we good. And they asked Mike McCarthy about it, you know what I mean? Like, will these guys play? And he said, no, nah, I'm not really playing my starters too much. Um, We like what we have. We getting what we want from our guys. So that goes to show me that he's set on the first team. He wants to use his full preseason to get some of these second team guys up, you know what I mean, up to par, have them ready. And um, I'm not too mad at that, man. Like, no, I, think, I think we good. I agree. I think it, it makes sense, man. You kind of know what you want to roll out with week one, but you got to decide where that depth lies. So they're, they're making the right moves. Uh, what are you looking to see moving into next week? Next week? Um, I, I want to see this number four battle again. Um, for me, I, I think Tobert is kind of show he's that guy, but it's, I don't think it's necessarily about him too much. Um, he kind of looks the part. Um, Semi, uh, Semi, Turpin, and Jalen Brooks. Uh, it wasn't too too good last week. But let's see if you can show up this week. And some of the other guys like Jalen Moreno Cropper, we didn't really see those names too much. So let's see that. But then outside of that, I think the main thing we all want to see is if Jake Ferguson, okay, I think you can go ahead and rest up a little bit. I want to see what uh guys like Schumacher and Jeremy Stevens can look like against some of these first team guys. Like scratch the third team. Let, let's see them get in get in there, get some reps against some uh some better competition to see if they can still make some plays. I agree. I agree completely. Uh, I'm looking to see this weekend a little more clarity in the backfield. Like we mentioned, Deuce looked good. Dowd will look good. Malik, can you show us a little more this weekend? Um, and maybe there isn't an RB 
two, three, four. Like it could just be every dude's got a package. You know what I mean? Like could be. Dude, Deuce is gonna have some packages. Yeah, I think so. I don't think it really matters. That's what I said. RB two, RB three. I think he has a. I think he is the change of pack, uh, change of pace back. Uh, you know what I mean? I think Dotto would just be a a guy that we can lean on within those those drives when Pollard need us. But for the most part, I think Dotto will be a dude that we're going to employ. Malik Davis, uh, I, I hope he shows something this week. I don't know. We all know he got talent. Um, you know what I mean? I think he's more than just the average back. You know what I mean? He's, he's a good balance back. So let's see if he can show up. But the offensive line did him no favors. And speaking of offensive line, uh, you know, uh, the QB2 battle, I don't even call it a QB2 battle. Uh, obviously, Cooper Rush, uh, I think he sealed that with what he did last year. But he didn't look as good as I, I expected to see. And I don't think a lot of that was him, but mainly, you know, I mean, the offensive line in front of him, you know, there was some struggles um, kind of seeing him get through his sets. He had some risky throws. One on was almost in there, pick six. Uh, so um, I, I need a little bit more clarity. Cooper is, is you know, what I mean, was it last year that you get carried that much or, you know, what I mean, are you are you still that guy, man? Because I, you know I mean, but uh, Will Greer, you know, what I mean, I, once he settled down, he looked pretty good out there, too, man. So um, I want to see a little bit more of that, too. I don't I don't think Cooper Rush is athletic enough to be out there with a bum offensive line, man, during this preseason. Cause you got guys on the other side, man, trying to make the roster. They're giving their hearts. You know what I mean? Thanks. So they're coming for Cooper Rush. I actually would much rather prefer a fourth quarterback on the roster and don't keep Cooper Rush out there. You know what I mean? Yeah. Cause I, I think so. It, it we we know what we got in Cooper Rush, you know, and that's why they extended him. Yeah, we might just need a little uh, a camp body right there. Exactly. And then, you know, uh, you know, as far as the kickers, like Brandon Arby, uh, he, he looked good for the most part, but he also mixed up Mr. PAT. So, I mean, you know what I mean? That's still a situation. I think, think some people was like, hey, what about Brett Meyer? And then what do you know? I look, Brett Meyer is over there missing kicks in Denver still. So, doesn't look <laughs> like he got over, uh, you know what I mean? Whatever hit him in those playoffs, it look, don't look like he overcame that just yet. Um, I don't think the ship is sailed on us finding another kicker, but uh, – I think this past week or so, I think Aubrey has done a fine job. So um, uh, we'll see. We'll see how it shakes out right there as well. Um, as far as anything else you want to see, though. No, uh, that kicking position has me super nervous, man. Um, that's something that we haven't had clarity at. Not clarity, but like uh, consistency at for a long time. But you can't tell me that Aubrey is better than Maher, bro. Like as bad as Maher was from time to time, bro, this man made a 60-yard field goal. And then they called it back, and then he just kicked that shit again. Like, he can put the ball between the, the goalposts, man. I don't know what happened, bro. Somebody might got some <laughs> some uh, emails on him or something. I don't know. He might got a little John Groove situation going on because <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know what the problem is with him no more. But it seemed like he can't overcome that. And as a kicker, once you lose that confidence and you don't have that no more, it's hard to shake back from that. Um but I will say this uh, before I, we get up out here and uh, I'll let you finish your last point. Um, on the offensive line, I think Austin Richards, he did a fine job once he settled in the left tackle. So I would like to see that again. And uh, Matt, well, I ain't going to say Matt well, let's go. I don't know what he didn't need to do. But uh, Farnyak, he looked decent out there as well. No, that's true. Um, I think one thing to consider or to talk that's worth talking about, man, with Turpin and with Deuce Vaughn is I think because of the addition of Deuce Vaughn, you're able to incorporate Turpin into the offense because if he goes down, you have another special teams returner. You know what I mean? So, Whereas last year it was like you got to preserve that guy for special teams because who else was you going to put Trayvon Diggs back there again? Please don't. You know what I mean? Right. So I, I think not that there's a competition on special teams, but we do have two bodies that can return kicks. Yeah, yeah. Turpin, it, it was weird seeing him fumble the ball or whatnot. But I think I'm I'm willing to bet the next chance he get a he gets the opportunity to, to catch that ball, I think he's gonna take one to the house. He just gotta, you know what I mean? He had to get that out of out of the system. But I'm glad you got out your system now before you hit the season.